There are over 8 million Jehovah's Witnesses worldwide. Some are physically in and mentally out. And many are only going for the association. Not because they love Jehovah God. Now a person does not have to go to the kingdom hall. Or a person may have stopped going to the kingdom hall. And can do all these things that I just named. What does that mean? Does that mean that. Oh well you may know these things. And you may can defend what you believe very well. Using the Bible scriptures. But since you're not going to the kingdom hall. You can't possibly be serving God. Is that, is that, that, that's how we should look at that. Or should we just say well. I know you can't defend your beliefs. I know you don't understand the scriptures. I know you're just doing what you're told. I know you just go for the association. I know you're physically in and mentally out. But hey, <laughs> buddy, you're going to get in there because you're going to the kingdom hall. Is, is that going to get it? Is that the thought process of Jehovah's Witnesses? If you go to the kingdom hall, it means you're serving Jehovah. You would be surprised of the secret lives of the pioneers, excuse me, of some of the pioneers, some of the ministerial servants, some of the elders, some of the Bethelites. You'd be surprised of the secret lives they live when they are not at the kingdom hall. You would be surprised. I promise you. But they go to the kingdom hall, though. They're seen at the King Hall every week. They come in. They give talks. That means something. Right? That's what that means? It means something. Because you put on a suit and go to the King Hall, it means something. It means you're serving Jehovah, right? That's what that means? So, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Just go to the King Hall. You know what's funny? People within the Jehovah Witness organization will stop associating with you. Even though you're not even living a debauched lifestyle. They will stop associating with you. Even if you're not this fellowship. They will stop associating with you simply because they didn't see you sitting at the kingdom hall. But meanwhile... The very people that they may be associating with that attend all the meetings at the Kingdom Hall and all the assemblies and live in a crazy lifestyle when they leave the organization. I mean, when they leave the Kingdom Hall on Sunday evenings or Sunday mornings, when they go home, they forget about being Jehovah's Witness. They associate with other people who they don't even know as living a double life. But, hey, <laughs> they're at the Kingdom Hall, though. 